Hey everyone, welcome to another English grammar lesson. Today we're going to be covering commas with fanboys conjunctions. So fanboys is an acronym for the words for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. And the idea of a conjunction simply means that these words join things together. Fanboys conjunctions can be used to join two parts of a single sentence together, or they can be used to join two completely different sentences together. Let's take a look. We will win or lose. So here we have the fanboys conjunction or, right? And it's joining we will win with lose. Now, we will win is a sentence, but lose, the part after the conjunction, is not a sentence. So here, the conjunction or is just combining two parts of a single sentence. These are not two full sentences being combined here, just two different parts of one sentence. And because of that, because we do not have two full sentences, we do not need a comma. But what about this? We will win or we will lose. Now, same conjunction, or, but here we actually have two full sentences. We will win is a sentence, and we will lose is a sentence. So unlike the first example, where we were just combining two parts of a sentence, here we're combining two complete sentences. And when you combine two complete sentences with a fanboy's conjunction, you need a comma. And that comma goes at the end of the word before the conjunction. So here's the process. First, find the fanboy's conjunction. Pretty obvious, right? Second, look on both sides of that conjunction. If the part before the conjunction is a sentence and the part after the conjunction is a sentence, then you need a comma. Otherwise, you don't. So you only need a comma if there are two full sentences being joined up. Let's try a few. I like swimming, but I'm not very good at it. Step one, find the conjunction. Should be but. Step two, look on both sides. Let's go to the first side. I like swimming. That's a sentence. It's short and it's simple, but it is a sentence. Now let's look at the other side. I'm not very good at it. Also a sentence. So, since we have two complete sentences joined by this conjunction, we need a comma, and that comma goes at the end of the word before the conjunction. Take a look at this one. We went to the store and to the mall. Okay, as always, find that conjunction. Should be and. And then look on both sides. The first side says, we went to the store. Is that a sentence? Yes. Now what about the other side? To the mall. Is that a sentence? No, it's not. So since we don't have two full sentences here, we do not need a comma. This sentence is just fine as it is. Two more. Sarah woke up late, so she missed the bus. Okay, find the conjunction. Should be so. Now, look on both sides. Sarah woke up late. That's a sentence. She missed the bus. Also a sentence. So since we've got two complete sentences here, joined by this fanboys, we need a comma. One more. I prefer to win or not play at all. Conjunction is or. Okay, so first part, I prefer to win. That's a sentence. Second part, not play at all. Ooh, not a sentence. So no comma. Awesome. So just remember, if you are combining two full sentences with a fanboy's conjunction, you need a comma, and that comma goes at the end of the word before the conjunction. I've seen a lot of people over the years try to put that comma at the end of the conjunction itself. That's wrong. Do not do that. So just to recap, if you're combining two complete sentences with a fanboy's conjunction, you need a comma. If you don't have two complete sentences, you don't need a comma. Cool. Well, whether you came here for a refresher or are just now learning this stuff for the first time, hope this video helped. Be sure to check out the free practice down in the description, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.